Hello everyone, this is me, Elish, and today I'm here with another video again, and in this video I'll try to answer questions that has been asked from me for many times, and I haven't been able to answer this question properly because I want to make a video on this so I can answer it in a more detailed way. So here I am, and here's the video, and finally I got over my laziness and decided to make this video because I realized this question is being asked too many times, so I have to answer it now. Well, the question is, how do you read so many books while maintaining good balance of social life and dealing with your lessons properly? Well, the answer is not the simple one, but I have developed a few techniques in the past years that have been really helpful, and I have learned some of them from some people, but at the same time, I have developed my own techniques because usually I do not do so much research about planning or getting some more tips of like for studying or for reading. So I have developed these techniques by myself or I have learned some techniques and I have just advanced them into something different so that will be much more suitable for my needs. And I will tell those techniques in this video and I'll talk about them and I believe they're gonna be really helpful to you as well. So let's get to the video. <laughs> So here we are, and I'm beginning with the first technique. The first method is called better than nothing. Why I named it like this is because I have been using this method when I wasn't able to read anything at all, because I was just dealing with my lessons properly, but not being able to pay attention to the books. And the method is like this. You have to read the books just before your sleep time. Let's say you separate one hour before your sleep time for just reading books only. You just put your phone away, you just take your book in your hand, just lie in your bed, and then you're just beginning to read. In the first few days, you may not be able to read properly. For example, let's say you just read 10 pages, then you fall asleep. But in the upcoming days, it's gonna be better and you're gonna be able to read more like 20 or 30 pages per hour. It also depends on the type of book you are reading, if it's fiction or if it's some kind of philosophy or I don't know, some kind of self-development book. So it will depend on the type of book you are reading. Obviously, the size of the book you are reading, the amount of pages will properly depend on that. But the one of the main things is that one of the beneficial side is this, uh, that you, won't, you will not pay too much attention to social media anymore before you sleep. And the thing is that this technique helped me a lot with sleeping as well, because before I was just dealing with my phone, I was just on social media or I was just playing some, I don't know, some game before my sleep and it was kind of bad for my sleep pattern as well because uh, I was kind of being obsessed with my phone a lot and sometimes I was just passing my sleep time I was just sleeping so late therefore I found out this method and when I was reading book my eyes were just getting heavier and heavier and I wasn't able to keep my eyes open anymore and I was going to sleep right away and with this way I was able to sleep more peacefully and I was able to read and in the upcoming days it helped me a lot so like since the first day of beginning this method and I was able to read like 30 pages per hour even I developed the habit of reading like two hours before the sleep so in the upcoming days you're gonna be able to read more if you begin this method and I know sometimes you may get to the sleep so fast you may only read like five or ten pages but it's gonna be really helpful to you because it's gonna be better than nothing as I have named it. So the second technique I'm using is to read a book just after I wake up and this method works a lot because instead of putting my phone next to me I put a, ne a book next to me and with this way I will right away focus on the book instead of just taking my phone, just scrolling through social media posts or, I don't know, checking my messages which will take ages and I will be like stuck into social media, not being able to read anymore. And it's not a good thing to exhaust your eyes with social media in the morning and instead you can read a book. Which is a good thing and it's a good habit because once you take the book in your hand and you begin reading that, you're going to be obsessed with it that you will read for an hour and I believe reading book makes your day much better and because you read some part of the book you will be more excited to read the rest of it during the afternoon once you begin doing this method it will develop into being a habit for you reading in the mornings because i know some people can be real tired once they come home at night or is coming from their studies or needs to deal with some work at home as well so it can be a kind of problematic to read at night because you're just too tired you cannot really concentrate on the book so reading instead of 
uh, nights you can read in the mornings, which is a good tactic for the people who are really busy all the day and who are really tired during the day and at night as well. So it will be a good tactic for you as well. So the third technique is the Pomodoro technique, but the only difference is I've kind of developed it into something more different because instead of taking breaks between the works I'm doing is to read books, which I've talked about this method in my last video as well. And to some people who haven't watched my last video, Pomodoro technique is like this. So you do 25 minutes of work then five minutes of break. But as many people can be really busy and not being able to read a lot, uh, I've changed this method into something like you can study or do some work for an hour, then you can read for 15 minutes, then you're gonna follow this pattern and you'll be able to read more and it will be again like better than nothing. And it's gonna be a really effective method as well. But one advice for you, please do not choose any philosophy or self-development book or some academic book because it can be really exhausting for you to read in between the breaks because they are kind of hard to understand. It kind of takes time to uh, understand those books and it's kind of exhausting process. Basically, it's better to read adventure books or uh, detective stories or I don't know, some easy fiction. Uh, with this way you will be able to take your mind off from your work but at the same time develop a reading habit and it's a good thing uh, because whilst you, uh, like in one way you do your work but at the same time during your breaks you are being productive as well but in a good way at the same time you are taking a break and you are taking your mind off from your work. So the last method I'm going to suggest to you is to read the books on your phone in version of EPUBs or uh, I don't know in PDFs. Well, this method is going to help you if you are the person who do not really like to carry the books around and if you are outside all the time or if you cannot get out of your phone all day. So this is a good method, at least like when you're on your phone, you could do something better and it can be more productive for you to use your phone. I know sometimes it can be really exhausting for the eyes already, but if you're using phone all the day, you're already exhausting your eyes. So. I don't think it would make that much difference, but at least you will be able to read some books and you will be much more productive. So these were the methods that I have suggested to you and I believe they are gonna be helpful to you because they have been helpful to me in the past and I have developed most of them by myself while using some techniques, while also using my on creativity and first and third methods have been specifically helpful to me because I'm usually a busy person. I like to read at nights as well. Well, and they have been really helpful and I believe they're going to be helpful to you. And please drop any suggestions or any methods that you know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and please share this video with your friends and with all the people you can. So thank you very much and see you in the next videos. Bye.